Hello, this is Cindy. Welcome to my channel and to a project that I hope will help clean up my craft room today. You can see my piles of laces. They have gotten completely out of control. You know, when I started a little over a year ago, I had no lace whatsoever. And then over the past year, I have managed to collect two bins worth two bins worth of mess. In fact, I've got one that's loose and running away over there. So I'm going to set those aside because we're going to to do today a, what got a way to organize these that I think is going to be so much easier. And that is on playing cards and putting them this way so that I can see them. Now, right now they're not organized in any way really that one's upside down because I want the pins where I can see them otherwise I'm going to poke myself um, so uh, let me talk about the container for a moment before we get into the actual project uh, you need some way of being able to store your cards so that they can line up like this so they can be upright this is a drawer from an old Singer sewing machine that was my husband's great aunt great aunts it belonged to her and it doesn't it's a really cool sewing machine and it, it still works if I had all of the pieces the problem is I don't have any needles for it and I don't have you'll have to put down in the comments below the the if you know the the what this part is called it's the cord that runs between the treadle that you push up and down and the flywheel. It, there's a, a cord that goes out. I don't know what that cord is called, uh, but it's missing. It doesn't, the, the machine doesn't have it. So I'm watching this video the other night and this woman was doing these playing card spools, which we're going to talk about how to make. And this is actually what we're doing today is making these spools. But she was talking about how to do these and whatnot. And she said, I store mine in the drawer from an old singer treadle sewing machine and I thought I have one of those in fact I have six of those I have six of these shells because they're all part of that machine now I'm not ready to, to get rid of the machine uh, but it's currently sitting in a, an area where it is um, unseen and unused so I thought I'm going to take the drawers out and I'm going to use the drawers and so that's what I'm using now you don't have to do this you can use whatever you want. You can use a shoe box. Um, if, it's, if you've got bigger playing cards, use a bigger box. If you have a shoe box that's too wide, put a divider down the middle. Um, and so you'll have two rows of these in one box. So I'm using this. You can use what you want. All right. So what else you're going to need, obviously, are playing cards. And this deck of cards is cheap. These are not attractive cards. I would never use these in a junk journal, really, because, I mean, the only thing they're really good for is, you know, they're not even good playing cards. They're slippery and just, and they're not pretty. They're not that easy to read. So, yeah, these need to be used up in some other way. So we're going to create a template for these out of, an old puffs box. This shouldn't cost you anything. If you already have playing cards, if you have a deck of mismatched cards, or if you have car, a, a deck that is missing cards, use that. Use a cereal box, use a Kleenex box, use whatever piece of leftover that you have. I should get, you know, commission because I'm advertising puffs. First thing you're going to do, grab a pencil, and you're going to make your template. Now for me, I am going to simply trace my card and then I'm going to cut out my template or at least the first part of my template from the box. I save everything, you know, I have all of this stuff I have a little lip on mine. I'm going to take that little lip right off because that's going to drive me crazy. So there, done. Now, as I, 
this is one that I, I had made already because I was trying trying it out, playing a couple different ways. And one of the things I tried to do was cut it in half and cut my uh, circles. You, obviously, that didn't work very well. I tried using a compass to draw my circles. If you look on this particular template, you see me. I drew, oh my God, I drew so many circles. It just, I was really getting really kind of frustrated on how to do this part. And it, because you definitely need it. I did try doing, wrapping the, the ribbon just around here and it slides right off. So yeah, you definitely need that little divot that's in there. So how can you make your divot if you don't have a Cricut, if you don't have a, um, there are spool dies that you can get, that you can make a die out of the spools or make your spools right out of whatever you want. I don't have one of those either. I have a piece of cardboard. So how do I get this to look like that? After several t attempts, I discovered the easy way. Yep. You want to make sure you leave a, enough room, and I don't know if this is going to show up on the thing. You want to leave enough room on the top of the bottom in, uh, to make your spool shape. You want that to be, you don't want that to be cut out. And you don't want it to be too far in. I'm going to trace with my pencil. I'm going to move my cup over to the other side. Line it back up. And I don't want this to be too deep either. You know, I don't want this to be narrow. I want it to be, I mean, too narrow. I want it to be wide enough. So there. Now I have my shape. And to be honest, I don't really care if they're not exactly perfect. First of all, I'm not an exactly perfect kind of person. And second of all, it's for me. Nobody, I'm not selling these. Nobody is going to ever buy them. Uh, they're just going to hold my lace. So if you are a perfectionist, don't sweat this one. There are other things to be more concerned about. So now I have my template and I'm going to cut my shape. You notice I cut on the inside of my lines because I didn't want it to be, oops, this is the problem I have with this particular set of cards is that they're very, very slippery. If the cards you're using are not slippery and yet they're still thin enough, there's no reason you can't do two of these at a time. I'm doing one at a time because they're so darn slippery and they keep moving on me. So I'll throw those away. And now I have a template. Or a, no, that's the template. Now I have a card. So I'm going to take my lace, I'm going to put my lace on the card, and I'm just going to wind it. This is a, a lace that is um, a little bit wrinkled. I think before I can use this lace, I will probably have to iron it. But for now, I'm just going to, I'm, I'm not ironing, I don't have the ironing board out today. I'm just going to put my lace on here, nice and thin. I'm going to lay that down fairly flat, and then I'm going to get out my pins. Now, I have pins. These are old pins. There it is. Let me put that down there, and I'll talk about my pins. There we go. I'm just going through several layers here because I don't want it to f fall off. So way back when, let me find one here. I know I have one in here. Way back when, pins were just pretty much, they had a flat top. And I had one in here, but I don't know where it is right now. Um, and, oh, there it is. I just had it, and now I just lost it again. There it is. I know, I'm spending my time sitting here trying to find a pin. So, that's not it. There it is. This is what pins used to look like, and I realize that's probably very hard to see. Let me put it this way, and I think maybe you could see it a little better. Because some of you may not ever have used this kind of a pin. This is a this was the original straight pin. This is what pins looked like back in the 
early 50s, early 60s. You know, you hear about how many angels can dance on the head of a pin. Well, that's what they're talking about is that little tiny, tiny spot right there. It's very, very small. So when the powers that be invented this type of a pin with a colored knob on the end of it, my mother was ecstatic. My mom made all my dresses. She made all my skirts for school because back then in the 60s, girls wore skirts or, or dresses to school. You didn't, I didn't get to wear pants to school until I was in junior high and then it had to be slacks, no jeans. I never wore jeans to school ever. Uh, not till I got to be a teacher in my last year of retirement, I said, I'm wearing jeans. So there, that was that. Um, in any case, she loved these pins and the fact that they had the big bulb on them. Now they have an even bigger bulb and I like these pins, but these are not my sewing pins. These are the pins that I am using for my crafting. Um, and because I don't like to use them for sewing, they're too small. I like the bigger pins. So now I could just put my piece in there. I'm going to take you out cause you're a little bit big. And so are you. So we're going to move you to the other end. And as I continue to fill this up, those will stay put. I won't have to worry about that. All right. Let me do one more. I have my template made already. That's my crappy template. I'm actually throwing that away. I'm going to use my Puffs Lotion template. I'm going to cut one more. I probably could washi this if I really wanted to be specific. I could probably washi it together because, again, these are really slippery cards. And then I'm going to cut the other side. Toss those. I don't need to keep those. And then I'm going to grab another piece, another lace. This one is a pink lace. And... I'm going to wrap it around as many times as I need to. This one's actually going to, there's a lot of this lace. Now, if you have too much lace, I'm going to talk about that in a minute. I've got another way to handle it when you've got way too much lace that is not going to fit on here. This one is actually, I've only used a little bit of this lace, so I have quite a bit of it left. Okay. So now I'm going to put my pin on there. One of those white ones. That'll show up easily. What I like about the color pins is that you can pick which one you want. To, it will show up. And that's it. Put it in your box. And just keep going. So what I do want to talk about, one of the ways that I had organized my laces was on spools. Um, they're staying all right. I may or may not. Uh, these may end up on cards. I pr they probably will. But this will not. This one and this one and this one, you know, they're really wide laces. So they're not going to work on playing cards. So for that, these are actually cut down Christmas packaging roll, you know, Christmas wrap rolls. And I think that one is as well. And one of these is um, a paper towel from the kitchen. I used one of those. So this will probably stay on the roll, but that will probably end up on its own card. All right. When you see the title card for this, it will be this drawer all filled up. I will take a picture of it and that will be my title card. I will put links down below to the woman that was using this. Oh, and I wanted to tell you, if you don't have playing cards, um, if you wanted to do use something else, Victoria Designs has printable ribbon holder templates. And you, she has them plain and she has them um, with a design. And what she suggests you do is that you cut out one of each and glue them together and then cut them out so that you have a stronger piece. 
if you didn't want to use the playing cards. So if you don't have playing cards, I'm going to put the link down below for Victoria Designs. They are a little bit smaller. Let me show you on this one. It's a little bit easier to see, I think. Um, if I put the playing card over it, you can over one of them, you can see that these spools are actually a little bit smaller than the playing card. That's fine. Again, it depends upon what you have and what you're using. But I will put the link to this. I'll put the link to the woman who was talking about these because she does her uh, cards even different, more a different way. Um, there are a lot of videos out there. Again, learn from whom. Whoever makes it easier for you to, whoever makes it easy for you to learn from, that's the person you should be learning from. Okay, that said, I will be putting the written directions for this uh, on my blog. Just use the link below. It will take you right to the blog if you want the written directions and you can get them there. That will also have some photographs of the various pieces um, in process. Jumping in quick, just to say a couple of things. Um, really, you can see now that they're all full, how easy it is to see where everything is and to see at a glance how quickly you can find things. Uh, this is still not everything. I have a couple of other pieces here yet to roll, but I have. Uh, I need to get my other drawer. I need another drawer out of there. The other piece I wanted to mention was that on some of these wider pieces, I used the cut down uh, paper towel roll. And that seems to work pretty well um, in there. And there were a couple that were still on those rolls that I just didn't want to take off because I got lazy. <laughs> so um, they're in there on the paper towel rolls. So if you have wider laces, that will work for that. For the big, big laces, however, I did have to, I, I those, I don't know, you know, that's just not going to fit in the drawer. So that's going to have to go in the other piece. The other piece I, I did want to mention, sometimes you get laces that have a, um, well, here, I've got one right here. They have this binding across the top. If you don't want that binding, there is a way to take it off. And if you watch the video uh, that is with the drawers, she ta does talk about how to easy how to easily pull that right off. And I was amazed, and it was simple, and it was I loved it. So, yeah, I will let you there. Put that there. Uh, put that out there for you. Come on, words, you can work today. All right. Back to the other video in process. All right. I hope you're having a great day. If you're enjoying this video, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and click the like button to let YouTube know that you like what is going on here. Uh, it helps the algorithm. Click the bell if you want notifications for when the next video is coming out. And in the meantime, this is Cindy signing off.